or 105,000. Now it's 107,000 uh, lightning strikes uh, within the past 24 hours. Hundred and seven, so it literally went up. Let me try to shrink it down. It had a block on here, a certain block right there. A hundred and seven thousand. Let's see what it was when I did this screenshot. It was a hundred and five thousand when I did this screenshot, and that was only maybe five to ten minutes ago. So that's how much the lightning strikes has increased within that short period of time. It was a hundred and five thousand eight hundred three. And now we are looking at 107,257 lightning strikes. It is um, crazy. But of course, we've had some rain showers, some snow in the higher terrain, a lot of wind, some sunshine, warm temperatures, and even the first few lightning strikes uh, here of the season. Boy, better let me in. You I can't see to get over. Oh my oh god, my the transformer god. blue! Oh, it's in track! It's off the track! Oh my That's god! That's the track! It's off oh the track! Alright, alright, alright. Everybody, alright. Everybody, alright. Okay. We all want to get the hell off. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's blowing everywhere! Oh my god! Oh, it just collapsed! Did oh you get the picture of it? I have the video. I have the whole thing. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Oh. Y'all, that's a water scout. Oh my god! Here comes the storm, dude. This is crazy. Oh my god, is it gonna turn into a tornado? I'm like tripping right now. Yo! Oh my god. Terrifying moments oh as a bomb cyclone barreled up the East Coast today. I am the most scared I've ever been. My car's moving so much. I'm in the middle of a tornado right now. Morgan Thompson oh says God. she took this video as she was heading oh into God. work near oh Ocala, God. Florida, oh oh when she found herself oh in the God. brunt of the storm. What was going through your mind? I legitimately thought that I could be seriously injured in that moment. There was a sort of helpless feeling, like I, there was nothing I could do for myself. I was just stuck there. That tornado tearing off roofs and toppling trees. And more chaos in southern Florida, where a water spout turned tornado sent beachgoers running. From Florida to Maine, the late season winter storm covered 1,800 miles, bringing a mix of precipitation. More than 50,000 lost power in metro Atlanta alone. Whipping winds seen in South Carolina, keeping most vacationers off its famous sands. And in nearby Virginia, overturned tractor trailers, winds there gusting up to 50 miles an hour. The bomb cyclone coating places as far south as Louisiana with snow, while dumping a foot in parts of the Northeast. A sprawling 73 vehicle crash shut down a major roadway in central Pennsylvania for hours. The travel headache extending to the runway. More than 1,200 flights today canceled. The fast moving storm, a forceful reminder that winter's not over yet.
And Emily joins us live from Central Park in New York. Emily, are we in the clear now? Jose, as the storm zips off the East Coast, freezing temperatures and whipping winds will linger. And you can tell here in New York where we'll see up to 45 mile an hour gusts through the night. Jose. A powerful magnitude 7.3 earthquake rattled Japan's northeast coast today off the city of Fukushima. At least one person was killed and dozens were injured. The quake was felt more than 200 miles away in Tokyo. Millions of homes and businesses lost power. The region is still recovering from that devastating quake and tsunami in March of 2011. A powerful earthquake has jolted the Philippines' main island, shaking the buildings in the capital of Manila. The shallow 6.4 magnitude quake hit about 110 kilometers off Morong in Bataan province. There were no immediate reports of damage, however. Though, interestingly enough, the Philippines experiences jolts like these often due to its location on the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is basically an arc of intense seismic activity that stretches from Japan through Southeast Asia and across the Pacific Basin. State officials are encouraging people who use a walking trail in Wyoming County to be extra cautious about ticks. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison spoke with experts about why tick bites throughout the area could be more dangerous this year. DEP tick specialist Christian Boyer was dragging for ticks along the Iroquois Trail near Tonkanic. It didn't take long to spot a black-legged tick, more commonly known as a deer tick. Boyer said he had previously dragged a long section of the trail and collected 50 ticks. All of them tested positive for deer tick virus, a potentially serious tick-borne disease different from Lyme disease. And it was concerning uh, when we first heard about it. Of course, we researched, we had contact with DEP and uh, tried to see what the next steps were immediately to uh, you know, possibly have some mitigation here. The DTV positive ticks were discovered during routine testing. Tick specialists survey areas in every county in Pennsylvania to track ticks' habits, life stages, and peak activity levels, and to test them for diseases. Last year, we, we collected deer tick virus in 10 counties. This year, we're up to 16, but again, at very low levels, other than the three sites in the state, with Wyoming County being one of them that has an extreme uh, high infection rate, one that we have never seen before. Experts aren't discouraging people from being outdoors and using the trails. They just want people to take the precautions so that you don't bring a tick home with you. Walking in the center of the trails or, or treating your clothing with permethrin-based products or wearing the repellent, tuck your socks into your, your pants into your socks, your shirt into your pants, and uh, do tick checks when you get home to remove any of those ticks and reduce your risk of being bitten. Deer tick virus can spread within 15 minutes of a bite, much quicker than Lyme disease. 
If you are bit by a tick and experience any flu-like symptoms, you should call your doctor. Again, deer tick virus hasn't been found in any other counties in our area, but DEP continues to test for it statewide. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Wyoming County.